Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show how to tokenize and cluster text documents. The example I'm using, the first document has simply 10 comments about Triad Airline. Now, I'm going to uh, create in RapidMiner this model so that I can tokenize, meaning I can extract important words from these comments and see a common trend. And then furthermore, I'm going to use clustering to group the similar sentence together and hopefully each group would uh, focus on one theme, whether it's about service or about seat or about schedule. Let's get started. So in RapidMiner, we first create a new process and uh, then we go to repository. If you haven't yet, uh, you will import the data from your computer. And for here, I already import it to my local repository. So all I need to do is to locate it in the repository and drag and drop this um, data. So it became a uh, retrieve operator, retrieving that specific triad document text document in the data editor you can take a look at the data what it's look like so it has the 10 comments and then it has the data type of text if somehow you get polynomial you can right click and change the attribute type to text over here and for the special role we we'll leave it as a regular role for right now Next, I'm going to add a process document from data operator. Now, we're going to need a text processing extension. To install that in extension, uh, it's free, by the way. And then you go to Extensions, Marketplace, and then just look out for that extension you want to install. So uh, once you have that, let's process document from data. And then link the document to the example set. Uh, well, in this document process from data, we want to set the parameter, uh, particularly in the prune method. I would like to prune the words that will be less than two document. Each document means each comment. And then I would like to do similarly, uh, ignore the words that appear more than four comments. Okay. So that way I can focus on the important information. So pruning is often used for the tokenizing process. Now clicking into this process documents from data, let's add more um, operators. So first one, I would like to add transform cases. So what this does is to transform all the text into lowercase so that's easier to compare. The next one is tokenize. and also leave it as the default setting. The next one would be filter stop words. And we use the English in here. And the last one here, we add um, stemming. So stemming is a process of uh, taking the root word out of many formats of words so the uh, computer can learn more effectively. So there are many kinds of stemming um, algorithms. So Porter is one of the popular ones, so we're using the stemming porter here. So make sure that you link the front and the end so that the data would be pulling in, going through these operators and going out into the results. So now we can test and see what it looks like. So this is the um, process that we created and let's run it. And now we can see um, this result table shows seven words extracted, seven important words from these 10 comments. So um, for each of the words, we see not just the ones or zeros, but really rather a weight, uh, how, how much weight is this word compared to the others, right? So, and we see the first sentence has um, the word horrible and service in here and the second sentence is all about seat and then next one sure between the delay and flight and you notice that each word is not a full word not necessary flight root seat are 
And those stamped results, not necessarily it's a full word, but we can still see the meaning of it. Right? So now we finished the tokenizing and now we're going to add clustering. So remember we want to group them. So the clustering method we're using here for text is called k majoids. This is similar to some of you have um, read about hierarchical clustering. So it is similar to that. And uh, in the clustering, we define how many groups we would like to the data to be grouped into. So we set three in here. I'm hoping to see some about service, some about seat, some about schedule. So let's run it. We see three clusters and uh, they are about equally distributed. If we click on the folder view, we'll be able to see each of the comments or each of the documents listed in each cluster. So in the first cluster, we can see it's more about the schedule of the flight. So we can see a lot of the delayed keyword and flight. The next cluster is more about service. We can see the keyword service and horrible, service horrible, and so this. the last cluster is more about seating. We see, we see the seat as the token repeating in each of the document. So with this information, business can more effectively target on their problem spots and improve their product and service based upon the techniques of tokenizing clustering of the customer comments, uh, even if they have large amount of data so with this technique, we can easily get the insights and provide recommendations to business.